Hello. Today's letter comes to us from Fury, who writes, Dear Brother Ron, is religion for weak-minded people that are afraid of making choices on their own and afraid of dying? Well, dear Fury, despite the abuses of some religious sects, religion can indeed serve some very useful purposes. We have seen the power of religious organizations to deliver aid to those in need while the government diddles and fiddles about what to do. This was very evident after Hurricane Katrina and certainly many other subsequent disasters. Now religion also serves as a focal point for spiritual energy. Imagine that you're at a football stadium. In the opposite stands, a transistor radio is playing. It would probably be very hard for you to hear it, even at full volume. Now add a second radio. Even though it's playing at the same volume as the first radio, the sound will be much louder. As you keep adding more radios, even though they're all playing at the same volume, the sound level continues to increase. This is known as sympathetic vibration. I believe the same principle applies to spiritual energy. When several people join together in projecting spiritual energy, the effect is greatly enhanced. Religious organizations can also provide education, athletics, social gatherings, and other useful activities. Of course, this depends on the leadership of the organization. If the leadership is concerned only with raising money or promoting false doctrine, none of the above applies, and we get attitudes like yours and others who have become disenchanted with the whole concept. Thank you for joining us.